Hey guys, it's Haley here. Uh, I'm going to start doing weekly or bi-weekly vlogs just discussing my cosplays, what I'm working on, um, how everything's kind of going, things that are working and things that aren't. And this is my first one, yay! So let's go ahead and jump right on into the first thing, which is this majestic thing behind me. It's the Grey Warden Battle Mage set from Dragon Age 3. I'm really, really happy with it. I've been working on it for about three-ish weeks now. This is kind of the front. You can't see the top of it, but that's okay. Just take my word, it looks great. This is an unfinished sleeve it's just kind of pinned up there to get it out of the way. The back still needs a zipper on the other side. I don't know, I'm really really happy with it so far and I think like, I'm gonna look like a total badass whenever it's finished, honestly. Um, one of the things that has really made this drag on though are the sleeves. This is not even finished. There are seven rows of scale mail that I have to hand sew onto the sleeves. It takes a long time. It's really satisfying. I like to just kind of sit down, put some Game of Thrones on, and just kind of start sewing away. I really recommend if you decide to ever sew scale mail like this. Um, when you get scales from the Ring Lord, which is who I definitely recommend going through, they just have the best selection. You're going to be sent these tiny bags. They're about this big. I have about a hundred scales in each of them. So instead of taking one bag at a time, I recommend opening up about ten and dumping them all into one large Ziploc bag. That way, if you move around the house, you don't have to worry about carrying ten bags and like. Oh, Oh my God. Dropping them, you can just grab the one and go. The way that I've been securing these scales onto the sleeves is really, really simple. I take my thread and I double it up and then I sew right here and then right here. Just two little stitches at the top and it just really holds them down. I secure after every single row. So I mean, if for example, one of these pops off, at least the rest are not popping off. It'll just be that one row, which it's a big concern of mine. I'm always afraid of things falling off. Hi, Delilah. <laughs> What are you doing? Another big thing that I've been working on this past week is da -da -da -da, children. Yeah, this is for a contest winner back in March. It's been months. I'm an awful person because this is still not done. Um, but right now, like it's mounted onto this. This is going to be what the mold will be cast on. It's really close to being done. I need to do some final touches. Just gotta make sure everything is secured well. Make sure it's all smooth and neat. It's a pain in the butt. I've never made a mold ever, much less for something this large, and it's going to be resin cast, so it's a pretty expensive project. But I promised it, so I have to finish it. I'm nervous, I'm very, very nervous, but that's okay. And hopefully by the next time that I do this video, this will be done so I can show you guys what it'll look like. Another kind of small side project is when I was going through my cosplay wardrobe and I realized my night scarf from Bloodborne had some small damage to it. Mainly on the mantle, everything else is a-okay, but I'll show you. You can see, especially right here, where the paint has worn through from wear, so I have to fill that in and make it look intentional, but you can also see on the back there are some other small places where the yellow is worn through, and then over on, oh, honey, no, on this side as well. And then it's not exactly cosplay related, but it is getting pretty chilly in upstate New York, and so it's time to start patching jackets. I have been collecting so many patches over the course of the year, gearing up for this next jacket. The jacket that I'm patching this year has a theme of like black and white gothic and then also occult symbolism. I'm very, very excited for it. It's going to look really, really cool. I also got a patch for my jacket from last year. Last year's jacket was like entomology and nature themed, so I have like a moth patch on the back that I hand embroidered. I have death head hawk moths on the elbows, some really cool cicada pins, and then I was ordering some t-shirts from the website Oh So Grim. I was looking and I also found this and I fell in love and I got it and this is going to go right here my moth jacket I don't know I just think it'll be pretty nice so yeah get your butt out of here thank you guys for watching give me some feedback follow me on Facebook facebook.com slash mothchildcc or type mothchild cosplay and creations into that search bar go on to Instagram type moth and then c h i one d it'll pull me up hit me follow me there and then I believe I'm on Twitter at MothChildCC. I don't know, I don't really use Twitter, but it exists. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I will see you guys next week.